Hey guys, David Baer here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a tool called Stencil that I have been using over the past year. Actually, it was previously called Share as Image, but they rebranded in early 2016, and I'm loving uh, not just the rebrand, but the uh, the entire um, revamp of their platform, and uh, I think it's something that you're going to like a lot, particularly if you're looking for ways to make really attractive uh, images online for uh, social platforms, for your blog for um, uh, any number of other things. So let me show you uh, what I mean. So we're actually not inside of that platform right now. We're, we're using something called Post Planner, which is where I get uh, ideas for what to post online, and then I schedule my posts. Um, and so here's, um, let's. Uh, I'm just looking at some deep thoughts, uh, some quotes here. So let's find a quote. Uh, so lack of direction, not lack of time is the problem. We all have 24 hour days from Zig Ziglar. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And actually what I'm going to do is click on the extension uh, here inside Chrome for uh, this tool called Stencil. And I was actually just designing something else in it. So it's, um, it's using a custom banner size that I had. But let's say we want to post this on, let's call this a Facebook post. Okay, so we're going to, um, they have defined the size that works best on Facebook. Uh, but you can see that there's a Twitter post, Pinterest posts, Instagram posts, and then I can run ads, um, create ads in here as well uh, for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube display ads. Um, and I can do headers. I can do like a... Um, uh, cover uh, page cover for Facebook or uh, Twitter header, uh, YouTube channel uh, covers, uh, and also headers inside email. If you're if you uh, want to customize a header that shows up at the top of all your emails, um, and you can customize stuff. So I'm going to go back, and so I chose a Facebook post, and here it it automatically pulled the text that I had copied from the post planner. Um, uh, quote and I can change this in any number of ways but first what I want to do is actually look for a background uh, image so I'm gonna just type in Zig Ziglar and see if all right his image doesn't show up here uh, in on their platform um, as one of the free images and they have 64 uh, 640,000 royalty free photos. So I could also look at, uh, let's say like, you know, lack of direction, not lack of time is the problem. So maybe I want to look at for a clock. So I'll, I'll type in clock and see what, um, okay. So here's all of these watches and clocks and things, um, that might make a, a really good image in the background. So, you know, let's say I want to use one like this, this might be kind of cool. Who knows? All right. So there's, there's a clock and I can play around with the, you know, the positioning of it if I want to. Let's just put it over on the side there. And then here's the text. Now, the first thing I think I want to do with the text is to change the color. And I'll, I'll make it kind of a grayish um, color there. And the next thing I'm going to do is change the font. So it comes loaded with all of these fonts here. And I can just go at through and pick one that I like. Um, in this case, that actually looks, let's go with this one. Okay. So here we go. And I want to move it a little bit narrower so that the clock stays on that side. Now I can do a few different things. I'm going to, I'm going to play around with this a little bit more, but one of the things I can do is get uh, graphics that, and they have 200,000 plus graphics in here as well. So let's see if I can find a banner. So I'm just going to type in banner and see what we might come up with. Okay, so there's these various types of banners that I can include. And let's see if I'm not finding quite what I'm after yet. But I bet I will in a moment. Yeah, okay, so these, these are getting a little bit closer to what I'm after. So what I'm looking for, hopefully we'll find something soon. Um, okay, this, this is a good example. Let's Let's try this one out and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's the banner that I want to put behind the text just to give it a little bit more uh, texture and substance. And um, and then what I'm going to do is, all right, so it's, it's a little bit wider now. And let's um, pull it up. All right, so I'm just basically playing around with this. It's, it's freezing on me at the moment. I think I have a few too many windows open, but uh, we'll get it to, to work just so you can you can see how it operates. All right, so I'm gonna pull that down, and then we we need to go a little bit wider on it. Okay, so now we should be just about where we want to be. All right, 
yeah okay and now I'm gonna send it back so I'm gonna move it back I got the text there um, so we'll, we'll narrow down the text a little bit and then what I think I'm gonna do is there we go okay so I now have the um, have this just about where I want it to be but you can see I'm, I'm sort of just playing around with this now I can change the color of this so why don't I I can play around with okay so see how much brighter that suddenly becomes you know maybe I wanna change it to like a an orangish thing that might that might work kind of nicely with the background there all right and I want to get rid of his name I'm gonna put his name in a, in a slightly different um, font or something and let's let's move that over this way and enlarge it just a little bit more okay and I don't like the way that this is written out so I'm gonna change that to 24 hours okay all right so you, you can see I'm I'm just playing around with this to to make it there we go that's that's basically what I was after and then let's ch let's duplicate this so that all right so we'll clone it so that I can add his uh, his name so zig Ziggler okay so there you go so now I have that I can um, reduce the size here a little bit and maybe I'm gonna change that to some sort of uh, cursive font uh, that that would be a nice compliment yeah okay so let's go ahead with that one there we go all right and we'll I think it should fit just about in there let's make it just a little bit smaller so it fits okay so there you go so now I have um, have my text elongate that a little bit more so that I can get his name in there I wasn't loving the way it looks and I have the the image there and now I can actually even personally brand this if I want to so let me go to my logos and watermarks and I can brand it with um, let's go ahead and, and throw that branding on there David bear dot me all right and I'm gonna center it under there okay so so there you go so now I have um, my branding on here Actually, that's a little too prominent so let, let's make that a little smaller and maybe maybe I'll put it under the clock instead yeah there we go okay so now I have my branding on here I have my quote on here I got a cool image and now I can download it or I can go ahead and share it on uh, Facebook or on Twitter or on Pinterest or I can send it over to Instagram or schedule it on buffer in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and schedule it on Facebook I can also go to any of the the pages that I manage here if I want to um, and in this case I think I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm not gonna add any text and I'm gonna go ahead and post it to Facebook and poof it's there I can go over to Facebook and check it out and it looks like it's going to show up there we go okay so I I created it and it says it's it's crediting stencil it's probably gonna yeah okay so here it is on my on my page now sorry I clicked <laughs> I clicked on my image um, okay so there you go so now I have this it's automatically uh, there I could again uh, have scheduled on on buffer or done any any number of other things but I really like it uh, and it's super super cool now I can I can originate with an image too so let's say let's go over to Google for example and I want to type in uh, inside Google something like I don't know let's let's come up with an image oops I googled Google for some reason it, it didn't load okay so what I want to do is come up with an image so let's let's say um, forest I don't know it just popped into my head so let's go ahead and say that we want a forest and I'm gonna look at the images and this is just for demonstration purposes it's really important to know that if you're going to use an image uh, don't use an image that is uh, that you don't have the rights to use so if you if you wanted to check out in Google and check out usage rights uh, label for reuse or, or reuse with modification um, that's what you want to do so I'm, I'm gonna actually click on that reuse for modification um, and you know so here's a Here's a lovely path down, uh, down, down the, uh, the middle of the forest. Or here's one. That might be better. Okay, so so here's one, and I can right click on this, and because I have the the browser extension uh, installed, I can just click on stencil, and there you go. It drops down, and 
It's going to automatically upload that image right into Stencil, and I can then pop in some text or whatever I want to uh, on top of it. So there are a number of different ways. You can either start with the text, or you can start with an image, or you can just start in Stencil from scratch. So if you're interested in getting Stencil for yourself, um, highly, highly recommend it. It's super inexpensive. It's like under 10 bucks a month, and, uh, and, and it does a pretty amazing stuff. I just showed you sort of the tip of the iceberg uh, on how, and, and how I'm using it in my business, but there's lots of different things you can do with it. Um, go check it out. Uh, I have a link under this video, and um, I, I wish you well with uh, your easy online designs uh, using Stencil.